Well, hello everyone, welcome to Pedro Plays and this episode 13 of our Football Manager series. Number 13, is unlucky for some, is it going to be unlucky for us? Uh, keep watching to find out how we got on uh, in the month of February. Okay, so if you do remember rightly, in January uh, and December, uh, we had a absolutely incredible losing streak. Uh, we really didn't do very well at all. And I think we finished the uh, last episode, finished it up on a draw with Shrewsbury. Uh, we ended up drawing that one 2-2. Um, and um, I was sort of hoping that, that would be a little bit of an end to the dry run. Um, but as you can see in this episode, actually, we've um, we've struggled since then, even still. Um, but let's have a little look back on uh, on this these games and to see how uh, also some of our new players are, are bedding in. So this was a game. Uh, sorry, that's a Shrewsbury one. So it's in that one. Let's have a look at Bradford City one, which uh, also finished two two. Um, so Bradford City started off taking the lead on the 14th minute uh, through Josh Cullen. Uh, which you will see here. Okay, Nelson sort of kicks it out, but then kicks it straight out to Cullen. It's a bit of a poor clearance, really. A bit of a, you know, perhaps a goalkeeper mistake. Um, and yeah, they get the first goal. And then um, they also go ahead and get second on the 26th minute. This is from set piece, uh, McCardy or McCardle, sorry, at the back. Um, Gets in at this point, we're 2 0 down, so it was in quite a bit of trouble. Um, but pleased to say, we did make a, a few changes and you know managed to pull it back a little bit. Um, Manuel Thomas there getting a goal, so it brings it to 2 1. And then Christian Bielek here. You all see, this is a, if I remember right, this is a great goal. Yeah, look at that long range straight into the the right hand side and that second goal of the season for Christian Bielek I remember he's currently on loan at us from um, from Arsenal and it finished 2-2 we actually had a few chances after uh, after that to, to maybe go ahead and win the game so I was still quite confident really really bad start to the game though um, and then after the 2-2 we went to Port Vale who were um, uh, they were actually quite far up the table actually I must admit um, they ended up beating us 2-1 uh, they scored uh, first through Ryan Seeger uh, this is their first goal here we go Ryan Seeger breaks through and then just to score there that was their first goal and then on the 66th minute we came back via Cody McDonald. See Dak here plays the ball through Cody McDonald and he just slots it away in typical, you know, Cody McDonald style. His eleventh goal of the season. And that brought it to one one at that stage. And I was thinking, you know, can we go ahead uh, and win the game? And then on the eighty eighth minute, right at the end, absolute sucker punch as uh, Ryan Seeger breaks through the centre and um yeah, just tucks it in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, which yeah was a, a bit gutting to, to lose that one and continue our sort of poor run of form and after Port Vale we played Chesterfield who were sort of right towards the um, the bottom of the table really it wasn't sort of too high up um, in the table um, I'm just going to change the camera as well this is a suggestion actually uh, through one of our, our, our subscribers who said to try the camera, uh, the behind the goal camera. So I'm going to give it a go for, for some of these goals. Um, so Jerome Sinclair on the 10th uh, minute uh, did get us the lead here. And um, he's obviously one of our new signings. He starts off the play by putting it out to Wagstaff. Wagstaff then crosses it and it's headed away. But Sinclair's there to follow it up and you know, just sort of smash it into the top, guard, top corner. Um, so yeah, really good goal from him. And that was 1-0 at that stage. And then Chesterfield uh, equalised via Chet Evans. Ooh, if you know Chet Evans is, if you're from the UK and watch the news over here, he is the one that was, you know, spent quite a bit of time in prison, uh, I believe, through, you know, I don't know if it's grooming or something like that. But um, but he scored for them. He's back out now and he is scoring quite a few goals for 
uh, for Chesterfield on this this save. Uh, Bradley Jack then on the 68th minute, uh, then uh, gives us our first win in a long time. You know, great goal, really well worked and well taken there. Two one there, and yeah, I was very very much pleased. Uh, it was sort of on the cards. You know, I felt like we were getting better and better since really this five one drumming by Oldham. I felt like we were. Uh, sort of improving uh, all the time then went on to Coventry and I was thinking come on can we keep this run going um, went on to Coventry unfortunately wasn't quite to be um, they did get a goal on the 79th minute this was just after we got Bielek uh, sent off unfortunately so it was a big change of the game although we wasn't doing that great before Tud Guy, uh, good goal from him well taken um, and yeah, Coventry won, Gillingham nil at this stage. Coventry are quite low in the table as well. And then on the 89th minute, we do manage to get something out of the game. Uh, great corner there from Morton Guts Pedersen. Two of our new players linking up, um, heading it on to, uh, or bringing it, sorry, crossing it into uh, Pennington, Matthew Pennington, who's on loan from uh, Everton, um, who managed to header that in. And uh, that was his first goal for us, but you can see. Such a dirty game, we got so many people booked and obviously Christian Bielek sent off so he was fighting a bit of an uphill battle then. Uh, and then the last game that we just played was against South Hend and um, sort of went much the same way really, didn't really have too many chances or clear cut chances, like none on target, 10 shots, none on target, a bit disappointing. The 37th minute, uh, Alex Gilead uh, ends up scoring uh, for South Hend for Southend and this was their goal and crosses it in and again it's another header there and that's it so what do you think of the new camera angle uh, from this you know leave your comments in the section below um, with regards to the camera angle is that a camera angle that you use personally or um, do, do you enjoy it is this is it new to you you change it just up in here in the settings literally loads of different um, options here I've not really played around with it I've normally just kept it at the standard one um, but yeah this was something that was suggested to me so I thought ah, let me check it out and it's um yeah I quite enjoy it actually it's quite it was a different different take on it so the game that we're going to play we're going to play live today it's our last game in February and it's a big one for us we are playing at Swindon who are um, yeah one of our rivals we're playing them away so playing them at their ground and after our little bad run of form, I'm getting a little bit fed up with uh, losing or drawing and, and certainly not winning. Um, so I am changing things uh, around a little bit. So I'm totally changing the formation and I've no idea, got to be honest, this is totally new, so no idea how it's going to go. Um, but this is the formation I'm going to go for. So we're going to have Nelson in goal. Um, and then I think these three here are going to be really key. So we've got Bailey Cargill. Uh, Matthew Pennington and Christian Bielek, three loan players actually um, for us uh, and I think they're going to really sort of help uh, to hopefully uh, stop this leaking of goals uh, coming in. Obviously Bielek's playing in a defensive midfield position which he can play in as well. Uh, on the left back we've got Bradley Garmston. He's not played too many games um, so far so he's only played three games, four if you count the one that came on as a sub. Um, now Paul Koncheski is normally our first choice one, he's suspended for this one. Um, so it is a change that we're sort of slightly forced into, but I wanted to see him get a run out anyway. Uh, on the right hand side we've got Ryan Jackson, just because we're doing this sort of wing back position, uh, I think he's better suited to that um, than uh, Deji Ojalaja, who's you know normally just plays on the right back uh, for us. Uh, in the centre got Josh Wright, he's you know arguably been one of our better sort of centre midfield players obviously we've had Bradley Dack and uh, Zella Lem sort of playing this attacking midfield position but I think Josh Wright's done a very good job right in the centre there Zella Lem is on the bench so if we can choose to bring him on uh, a little bit unfortunately Bradley Dack has picked up an injury so he's going to be out for, for up to two weeks uh, got Montgats Pedersen on the left hand side and uh, Scott Wagstaff on the right hoping they're going to chip in with a few assists um, and then up top we've gone with two up top uh, so I've gone Jerome Sinclair up top um, along with Cody McDonald so uh, you know if uh, I think they're a formidable strike force personally uh, you know, I think they stand a good chance of um, of doing quite well and um, 
sorry, excuse me. Um, we've also got Carlton Cole on the bench uh, if we need to need to use him. Might also give a little feature to Osadebi. You can see here he's got five goals um, throughout the season, so he's done really really well. Again, from sort of attacking midfield or you know centre mid position. So let's jump on to to this game and see how we get on. So here we go then, kick off. Swindon versus Gillingham, new formation for us. Can we, uh, you know, suddenly pull something out of the bag and, and end this win in, or oh, this losing streak and turn it into a winning streak? Really need a, a late push for promotion uh, for the playoffs if if we can. Um, so here we go. This is actually keeping that uh, that camera for the whole of it, which I'm not sure I like. So let's change it back to that and we'll keep that camera angle for the replays. Here we go. Good uh, possession in the early sort of 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, sorry. It's looking good. Can we get a chance from this? Bradley Garmston there, so straight to their goalkeeper. But that was a you know encouraging start. Some nice passing in there, and you know, if we can continue like that, hopefully we can carve out some some opportunities. Be interesting to see how we deal with this defensively, though, because uh, you know it is very much a, a um, yeah, sort of attacking force, really. Obviously, I had a very good chance just there. That, that was a good save by Stuart Nelson in the end, I think. Ah, oh, there we go. So back to square one. Swindon taking an early lead there, one 0 to Swindon. Go coming through Furlong, and uh, again it's a set piece. We've conceded quite a few of those lately free header at the back post and then furlongs there just to uh, slot it away from what's that three or four yards out uh, so not the start we had intended after 10 minutes being one nil down let me pull something out of the bag we've got some you know some real match winners actually in that squad you know like Cody mcdonald sinclair wagstaff you know, morton gantz pedersen here we go Gonna be a chance for Swindon or can we get him on the break? Come on, tackle him, tackle him. Oh dear, oh. chance there for Swindon. Here we go, chance for Gillingham. Good corner in from Pedersen's headed away by Swindon. Can he whip another one in? There we go. Oh, McDonald off the crossbar. Off the crossbar. Good cross in from Gamp. Mort Gats Pedersen, one of his sort of main attributes is uh, delivering in sort of expert crosses like that. Very unlucky there, Cody and McDonald. Would have been a big moment, I think, in this first half. Can we get a goal before half time? Gats Pedersen trying again there, but it's hit too long, straight through to their goalkeeper. Bielek plays it to Pedersen. Again, another long ball there. A bit too long. Chance now for Swindon to, to make something of it. Again, it's poor parry really from Nelson. Should have held that the first time, but you know, fortunately Ryan Jackson's there to, to clear the ball out. I think this is going to be half time. One nil down. It's not too disastrous. We've had a few, a few chances, but um, you know it's been fairly even. There we go. That is the half time. Half time team talk. Right. I think I can tell them that we can still get something out of it. Just a bit of an encouragement. I don't think there's too much to really change uh, tactically. Um, you know, perhaps a couple of subs may be due uh, in the second half, but you know, I'm going to go back out with the same squad. Maybe going to give them some encouragement here from the touchline. So I just hope we don't concede straight away. Oh. Good save there from Nelson. That would have been a disaster had they uh, scored straight into second half. 
Alright, maybe give it 10, 15 minutes game time before I start thinking about you know a few subs that can maybe you know have an impact on this game. So hey, it's turning into a bit of a you know sort of stalemate in the table that we're right down to 13th now. Certainly losing the the promotion chasing pack. Unless we do something quite quickly, it's gonna you know just end up with a, a mid-table finish. Which is not the end of the world, I guess if you compare it to how the real Gillingham have done. Uh, you know, fortunate that we didn't go down, that we uh, managed to stay up by uh, a single point. Oh, look at this. I think Furlong's just about to get sent off here, is he? He is. Second yellow card. Right, now this makes things a bit interesting. I'm going to go a little bit more attacking now. Maybe get them to push forward a little bit more. Now we are one person up. Um, right, let's do this. Can we get a goal here? Oh, McDonald out to Pedersen. Oh, that looked like it could have been a penalty there before that, that cut there. Obviously not. Piling on the pressure there now, though. Can we make advantage of this? Uh, yes, we can. Look at that, McDonald on the end of it. 1 1. Great stuff. He's actually been out for a little while, he's not been sort of fully fit. Had a couple of little niggling injuries, so he's not really been in the starting lineup. And obviously, we've had a couple of new players that have come in, but just shows what an important player is, shows why he's our top goal scorer. Pops up with moments like that. All right, I might bring on uh, Carlton Cole here. Jerome Sinclair's not having the best game. Let's bring him on and then maybe put Kebe on the left as Gaps Pedersen's getting a bit tired. Do I go all out? I'm going to go all out, I think. Let's move Bielek forward and then switch him for Osadebi. So put Josh Wright in defensive midfield. I think we could win this one. I really do. It's a bit drastic going with three, three changes, but it's going to freshen it up. Hopefully, give us a bit of momentum or help us use the momentum that we just sort of built up. It's going to give them some fresh legs as well. Here we go. Come on, the Jills. It's not what we want, don't want them to be breaking against us. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, off the crossbar. Man, right, let's give them a bit more of an encouragement. That was close, nearly backfired. Right, let's go, let's go overload. Can we win it? Well, it's going to be close, I think it could be 1 1. They were right up to fifth in the table, I think, Swindon. So, 1 1's maybe not too bad a result. Yeah, there we go, 1 1. Well, we uh, we didn't lose, so that's that's a positive. We've lost an awful lot of games this this uh, last couple of months, so we didn't lose, which was good. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the uh, win that we were looking for. That tactic, not too bad though. Maybe it needs a little bit of a, of a tweaking, but we certainly didn't get pummeled by Swindon, so so it wasn't all bad. And you know, maybe with a, a couple of minor tweaks, it could turn into a, a tactic that we can uh, can choose to uh, to make work for us. You know, I just very much feel that we're you know we've got good squad sort of going forward. Um, so yeah maybe maybe need to work on those strengths and, and use that to our advantage but i hope you've enjoyed this episode guys uh this is you know we're obviously drawing quite close towards the end of the season now so it's getting uh, to the exciting bit so hope you did enjoy it uh, if you did give us a like if you didn't give us a dislike and um yeah let me know in the comments below what you thought or, or you know if you've got any of ideas as to how we can turn this losing rut um, around then um, then do let me know in the comments below and actually it'd be interesting to see some of your predictions now where do you think we're going to finish up um, in the table uh, so yeah let me know in the comments below and if you don't subscribe already make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, but yeah all the best guys thanks for watching and take care